Nigeria's oil industry will be marking a significant moment today as a 650,000 barrels per day Dangote Petroleum Refinery gets commissioned in Lagos, a shift from government operating refineries to the private sector. What to know about this and how the Nigerian economy and Nigerians generally stand to benefit from it is our first topic, first hot topic on the breakfast this morning. UK plans to ban Nigerian students, others, from bringing their families over. The announcement is planned to be made this week. We'll be taking a look at that also on the breakfast this morning. We'll be taking a look at some headlines and some of our national dailies with Off the Press. We'll be joined by a guest to discuss that. Good morning and welcome to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. I am Maureen Menongwezigwe. It is the Mindset Monday, we call it, and uh, you are welcome. So good to have you join us. And before we kickstart anything this morning or before we go further, we have a report for you on traffic report where an accident involving a, tr a truck happened around the Lekki uh, axis of Lagos. We have that report for you. Okay, I've been informed that that report will be uh, aired after a while. Well, glad to have you join us. Um, I'll be doing this alone this morning. Yamgul is not here, neither is Justin, but you are there, so that makes it okay. Well, our theme of the day is a need to escape difficult situations. A sense of feeling trapped, you want to escape, it's within your right to do so. I, it, it's been said that uh, self-preservation is the first law uh, of nature. All human, all living things indeed, not just human beings, when they see any or sense any form of danger, the first thing that comes to mind is to escape. And it is sad that Nigerians are seeming to be escaping from Nigeria, which should be home. Um, why do we have this on the increase? Why are Nigerians running away from home? Well, that question is, is something that only those running away would probably be in the best position to answer. But it is sad that our people are leaving home. Part of the topic we'll be taking a look at today is the fact that the UK plans to stop Nigerians and other uh, students who are coming to the UK to study from bringing their families along with them. The only people exempted are those who are going there to study PhD because that is for between three to five years. But if you're going there for your master's or any postgraduate course, you know, you'll not be allowed to go with your family as that, as, you know, hitherto used to be the case. So what does that say? Uh, about the pressure. What does that say about migration, the rate of migration uh, to that place? Top trending. Let's take our very first top trending for the day. FG to commence home delivery of passport is our very first top trending. Uh, parents of, um, and parents are begging FG to also release allowance for overseas students. That is our second top trending. If you've applied for your international passport before and it took you a very long time to get it, I'm sure that this first hot topic is good news to you. I understand that um, fresh uh, uh, applications will last just six weeks now and then uh, renewal is just three weeks. That for me is a great improvement. There's been a lot of uh, work going on there in that ministry trying to sanitize the whole place. Those who have been fingered as sabotaging government effort in making uh, getting of passports seamless have been shown the way out. Some are being investigated even as we speak. So if they can put this through and make sure that wherever you are, your passports will be delivered to you at home, as is the standard practice, global best practice really, then it would be a very good tick for Nigeria to have that achieved. And so our very second top trend in which I've mentioned earlier is parents beg FG to release allowance for overseas students. Um, 
Parents of Nigerian scholars in foreign countries have sought the intervention of the Minister of Education on the non-payment of their children's allowance. Uh, Nigerian students affected include beneficiaries of the bilateral education agreement. Um, studying in countries like Algeria, China, Cuba, Egypt, Hungary, Japan, Mexico, Morocco, Romania, Russia, Serbia, South Korea, Tunisia, Turkey, and Ukraine are owed up to five months allowance for this year alone. That is not good news. This present administration is about to leave. The parents are worried that the next government coming in may not consider this a parity. And so they are begging the present uh, administration of uh, President Muhammadu Buhari to do something urgently uh, to see that their children who are being owed these allowances are paid. Each scholar is entitled to supplement, supplementation allowances of $6,000 per annum to augment feeding, local transport, maintenance, equipment, book, warm clothing allowances of $250 per annum, and health insurance of $200 per annum. So these, this is a very, very serious cry here by parents of children living abroad, uh, studying abroad, who are entitled to some form of allowances. Uh, the parents are worried that their children are being owed months and this they've also learned that some of the children are beginning to beg to survive and this is not a trend we want to see encouraged because you never can tell how far these children will be pushed into uh, the survival mode so they are appealing to the government to urgently look into this so the children uh, would not need to be tempted to do something that would not just tarnish their name, but also tarnish the name of the country. So hopefully, this administration will look into that because it is indeed an urgent matter. The administration has just barely a few days to go. What can be done remains to be seen. Well, we'll move now to the weather report, and when we come back, we'll go to Off the Press to take a look at some headlines on the national dailies. Do stay with us.